everyone, I'm here with your weekly horoscope for the week of September 3rd to the 9th of 2018. We are already in the month of September, which is so crazy. Um, for the month of September, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I am using four daily weekday draws. The Steampunk Tarot, along with the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. Um, these are some of my favorite decks. Um, I love using them for the fall. I just love the aesthetic of it. If you want your own reading, as usual, you can click to the links below to the Etsy shop. Um, just so you know as well, I'm also doing on my Patreon a witch school. It is only, uh, registration is only open for the month of September. It is a year-long thing where I do a weekly video and there's a weekly worksheet as well. And you also get to be part of the private online coven too. So it's kind of a good deal, I think. Um, so if you're interested in that, go to my Patreon. Otherwise, um, let's get on with our weekly telescopes. So let's start as always with Aries. So Aries, you have the nine of wands. This is a week, Aries, where um, you are going to have to be stubborn and really kind of put your energy forward into getting what you want. Mars has started to move forward, so you may feel like things are starting to pick up a little bit in your life. Things are starting to pick up the pace for you. Um, but I think also there's just like a lot going on. And so you may feel a little bit overwhelmed and pressured. You may also feel like you've been, you know, kind of working and struggling really hard over the summer and you kind of want a bit of a break. But this card is really encouraging you just to keep going forward with what you're doing. Um, just keep going, keep going, keep pushing through. There's going to be a, a breakthrough soon. For Taurus, we have the Tower. So I know most people don't like to see this card. I just wrote a whole blog post about that. Um, but it's a week of shakeups for you, Taurus. This is a week where things are not going to go as planned. Now, this can be as, you know, a big life changing event, or sometimes a tower is just a realization inside of us, like an aha moment where we realize maybe we don't need to do something anymore, or it changes our perspective on things. But this is a week of change for you, Taurus. Um, yeah. For Gemini, we have the Ace of Swords. So new beginnings for you, Gemini. I think last week was a little more of a difficult one for you. Um, and it's saying that this week you kind of have a renewed sense of optimism, a renewed sense of determination and courage. Um, if those of you who are starting school, starting a new job, this is a very good indication things will go well. It's not always going to be like, you know, a, a piece of cake all the time, but things, you do have the energy, you do have the intellect to be able to go forward and do things. So it's really encouraging you to make some new starts um, and to see this September is kind of a new beginning for you. For Cancer, we have the moon. Oh, the moon, which rules Cancer. So perfect. Um, you're going to be really affected, I think, by the upcoming new moon on Sunday. You are, I mean, as Cancer, you are affected by the moon. Um, it's saying to, you know, kind of ride with your emotions, let them, you know, don't judge them, um, you know, give yourself a break, you may be feeling a little moody, a little up and down, uh, you may be feeling a little uncertain, like you're not sure where you're going, and it's okay, you don't have to know everything all the time, um, and give yourself a break, like really take some time for self-care, and also pay attention to your dreams, because they're going to be particularly strong this week. For Leo, we have the Six of Swords. Leo, you're making progress. Things are starting to move forward for you. Uh, if you're traveling at all, this is a good omen. Things will go well. But it's saying that, you know, you're you're moving forward with things. Things are slow and steady. Um, you know, no big dramatic shifts, but you are getting there. You're going where you need to go. So give yourself a pat on the back. For Virgo, we have the King of Swords. It's a week of decisions. It's a week where you're going to have to kind of maybe lay down the law with some people or you're going to have to, you know, set some boundaries. But it's you can do that in a way that's gentle too. You don't have to be hard about it. But it's it's a week where you're like, okay, I don't want this in my life anymore. I want this. You're kind of clearing house. You're making your decisions really clear. Um, and you're you're letting your intentions be known to others and, and that's a good thing. For Libra we have the Knight of Wands. Um, a quick busy week for you Libra it is gonna be busy if you're moving if you're traveling this is a good indication things will go well if you're changing jobs as well also another good indication for you uh, but it's a it's an energetic week a quick movement lots of stuff going on also you may be tempted to do things impulsively and it's saying to kind of step back and think about that think about things before you do them basically Scorpio we have the two of swords so 
you may be avoiding a decision of some kind. Um, sometimes we want to know the outcome first before we make a decision, but not making a decision is also a choice. Uh, we're kind, you're kind of in that in-between, between the two. You're not sure which way to go. Should I? Shouldn't I? Um, and this saying that, you know, it's time to stop putting that off. It's time this week to make that decision. For Sagittarius, we have the Page of Wands. Um, so a better week, Sagittarius, than last week, I think. Uh, this is a week where you are going to be getting a message of some kind, um, a hopeful message, some good news, probably coming through a friend. Um, also, friends are going to be very important this week. It's a week where you're getting together with people, you're enjoying things. It's a week to kind of, you know, express yourself creatively. Um, it's a week to, you know, have some fun, lighten up a little bit, which I know you don't have a problem with. For Capricorn, we have the Seven of Cups. This is a week, Capricorn, where you are not sure what you want. Everything looks good, everything looks equally good, and you're not really sure. It's all tempting. So you need to kind of step back a bit and really look at the big picture and what you really want from things. Um, it's a week too as well. Whenever I see this card, this is another card that tells me that you need to pay attention to your dreams and true intuition. For Aquarius, we have the Five of Cups. So there may be a disappointment or a letdown of some kind this week. Um, you may be feel disappointed in someone else or even yourself. Um, but there's something that um, you feel let down by, a little bit disappointed. And it's okay to give yourself some time to feel that, to mourn that. Um, and to know that even though that thing, you know, disappointed you, there's lots of other good things too. Uh, there's only one cup that's spilled. You still got four more. And for Pisces, the Four of Cups. This is a week where you kind of feel dissatisfied, Pisces. You kind of want to throw out the whole baby with the bathwater. I encourage you to wait till the new moon. Um, not everything is as bad as it appears to be. I know you're kind of dissatisfied with things, um, but it's saying that, you know, there, there still is a lot of good things, just like with Aquarius going on. Um, it's just that you're kind of so focused on the one thing that you, you kind of just want to throw it all away. And so it's saying don't make any rash decisions this week. Um, I think things will be clear next week after the new moon. So that's what I'm seeing uh, with the tarot cards. I'm going to pull a, uh, an oracle card. Oh, we have purity. Now, I really hate this word just because it's so puritanical. Um, but when I see this word, what I think of is more authenticity. Um, with purity, it's about pure intentions. It's about being totally and wholly you without allowing others um, to influence that. So it's being wholly yourself. So I don't really think of uh, purity. I think it's a weird, I don't really like that word. But what I'm saying to you for this week is no matter what card you got, and most people I think got, you know, some pretty encouraging cards, and there's a few challenging ones, is to make sure that your intentions are pure, so to speak, as in, are they good? Are for they good of all? Are they good for you? Or do they line up with your internal compass? Um, that's something to ask yourself for this week. So I hope this is a good week for you. Um, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I get lots of great feedback from people on this, and I really appreciate it all. Thank you so much for all your comments. As always, if you have questions or comments, you can put them down below. Peace, love, rock and roll.